Hello everyone. In my recent video about training AI models on video games, I said I would test the Impala CNN model in a later video. So I ran, I ran some tests comparing the Nature CNN model to the Impala CNN model on four games. In our case, it's a Pong, Berserk, Mortal Kombat 2, and Super Mario 2, the Japan version, which is Lost Levels in US. So if you want to skip directly to these games, I have put timestamps in the description down below. But first, some context. So almost three years ago, OpenAI created an environment called CoinRun in order to be uh, to uh, to more effectively test the uh, generalization capabilities of reinforcement learning. So basically, you need an environment that can generate a large amount of procedural levels that are similar enough to test the generalization, and that is what CoinRun does, and it does quite well. So before looking at their test result, here's an overview of the two architectures that we're going to uh, compare. So in baseline code, so you have the Nature CNN. So the name is because of DeepMind's Nature paper, where they first used that model. It's a 1.7 million parameter model with uh, three filters, as you can see, and a fully connected layer of 512. So it's pretty simple model, but it's efficient on simple retro games and doesn't use a lot of VRAM and GPU compute power. So uh, it can easily, for example, it can easily uh, be used on an NVIDIA Pascal based laptop GPU with only two gigabytes of VRAM, uh, which is my case for my laptop. Uh, now for the Impala model, it's a deeper model. It's named after DeepMind's Impala RL framework. So you can see the paper uh, here if you want uh, more, more info about it. So the, the two key differences are the max pooling layer and the residual blocks. So max pooling is not in the nature CNN model, as you may have noticed. Some say it's because it might cause some loss of spatial information that are maybe necessary in the RL context, but not for image recognition. But in practice, but in practice it seems it can help performance because it simplifies the representation. So th there's no clear answer to this topic. I think it's an active area of research, uh, but it's worth testing on and off for your specific task. In the case of retro games, the, at least the one we test, uh, it seems to improve the performance. So for original blocks, they are used to avoid vanishing gradients, which is especially a problem with uh, deeper neural nets. So if you want to know more about this topic, I'll put a, a link down below. Now let's look at OpenAI's uh, test results. So they have a, quite a nice graphic here. So on the left side is the Nature CNN agent and the right side the Impala CNN agent. And uh, <clears throat> you can see that, like, like they state clearly, that the Impala CNN agent uh, generalizes uh, much better. It's, uh, it seems to be over 90%. 90 while the nature CNN agent uh, seems to, uh, to have only 70% of levels uh, solved on the, on the test data and seems to perform better also on the, the training, uh, training data. And they, uh, they trained for quite long for uh, over uh, 200 million steps, so 256 million time steps. And um, and after they go on uh, uh, with further optimization, so the environmental stochastic stochasticity, uh, actually there's a wrapper for this. So we, we use this for the test we're gonna do on the games. We already use this. And they did some tests by uh, adding a LSTM component for, uh, for memory sequence of, uh, of actions, like uh, especially needed for uh, maze types uh, of games. And uh, the performance is quite good as well. So their conclusion is that, um, well, first I think CoinRun is is seems to be an effective environment for to test uh, generalization, uh, and uh, in Palo CNN seems to be clearly better to uh, for uh, to generalize. And uh, as you're gonna see in the in the games we test. Uh, for most of the games, it's better. So I already trained offline uh, all the models. 
Uh, so first, uh, let's see the playback of Pong. This is with the Impala CNN model. So it still loses to the uh, opponent, but it does uh, for two million time steps. It does quite good. And also notice that you see the score. A lot of papers, uh, you know, when they they, uh, they run their algorithms on uh, on Pung, the and their models on Pung, uh, they they crop uh, the score out. So they only sh uh, train on the, the actual gameplay area. So which is make which makes it a, a much easier problem. Uh, so, for example, if you use the, the Pung environment that uh, comes with the gym, uh, I think they crop, they crop the, the, the score out, so you might get better performance. Uh, so you really need to compare the, this to the, the same, exact same uh, environment. So if we look at the TensorBoard uh, graph, so it achieve a score of minus six, which is uh, and if you you make uh, if you you run it a bit a bit more, you can quickly achieve a, you know a perfect score of twenty. Uh, but to speed up the test, I just trained for it for two million. And if you look at the CNN model, the smaller model uh, without max pooling, uh, and the and it's also it's a more shallow model. Uh, after two million, you only got uh, minus eighteen. Now, as I said, like if you if you run this on the version that crops out the 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 score, it's a it's a much easier problem because it doesn't need to the model doesn't need to figure out uh, that the score is meaningless for the gameplay. But nevertheless, I think that's a good test. Uh, so you see that the Impala CNN model is clearly more performant, and actually Pong is the is the the one I which I see the best result with uh, Impala CNN. So next, let's see a uh, berserk. Okay, what's the problem? Oh, I forgot to add the play argument. So Berserk seems to be not an easy game for uh, that much for AI, even though it seems simple. I think partly it's because there's no reward, direct reward to skip a level. And also the, the reward function doesn't punish you for going on a wall or getting sh shot at. So if we take a look at the um, TensorBoard data, so this is the, the CNN model, so it's a bit under 600, and the uh, Impala CNN is a bit over 650. So this is this is uh, this was uh, ran only for um, I think 10 million time steps, if I remember correctly. So uh, the so so Impala shows a, a bit of improvement. But not as clear as for as for Pong. Uh, I plan to to uh, run some uh, some tests like uh, as much as as OpenAI did uh, for over two hundred fifty uh, six um, time steps, or even more, to see the the true difference. But for now, this is uh, all the time I had for, to to the test. So you can see it's it's better, it's still better even after just uh, ten million time steps. So now let's see uh, the Mortal Kombat 2 case. First, we're gonna check the CNN model. I trained it for uh, two million time steps. So 
So the the model is, uh, is uh, Liu Kang. In the game, the uh, CPU is uh, Jax. As you can see, the model cannot be Jax uh, easily, if at all. Now let's test the Impala CNN. So it should be much better. Seems to like kicking and uh, can use a fireball. What if? And it actually wins and uh, it goes to the next opponent. So the Impala model in this case is a clearly superior. Now let's look at the. Tensor board. This is the CNN model, the smaller model. So it has trouble, it seems to have trouble uh, getting off the ground. Actually, uh, a couple years ago, I you have a video uh, on my uh, uh, on my channel. I train on Mortal Kombat, and if you train it for uh, long enough, like uh, to, you know, over uh, 20 million time steps or so, uh, it can actually beat a few opponents. But he has trouble getting to the, the, the final boss. So I'm going to try it with the Impella model. And you can see even after 2 million time steps, the Impella model is, a, is clearly superior. So my guess is that it would, uh, it would, it would also work against the, the final boss and go all the way to the final boss, contrary to the, the CNN model. And it must be quite good at Street Fighter as well. So I plan to, to try that uh, later when I have more time. So now for the final example, let's check, uh, let's check Super Mario 2, the Japan version. So this is with the Impala CNN model. Also, I trained it for 10 million times tests because it's a more complicated game. As you can see, it doesn't go very far. Actually, it doesn't perform better than a CNN and slightly worse in some cases. Uh, so to make this is a uh, test uh, for that type of game, I need to, to train it for much longer. Actually, for all the tests, normally I would, I would need to train it for, for at least a number that um, OpenAI used for a coin run. So, uh, uh, but uh, I like some time to do it. I uh, will uh, do it uh, in a future date. But it's, I think it's, it's enough to see the that for um, for simple games, Impala model is uh, is quite better usually. So let's look at the TensorBoard data. Um, this is the CNN model, and this is the Impala CNN model. Uh, you can see the CNN model is slightly better. So, for for games like that, if you 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 cannot train it for a lot of um, a lot of frames, uh, Nature CNN is a, seems to be more efficient. But I, I think in the long run, Impala CNN is going to be it's going to be able to generalize better because it's the same case for for MLP like the multi-layer perception which is not even good for image based task 
Uh, you can see a video on my channel where I compare the two. And actually, the MLP at, at the beginning is better than the CNN, which is uh, quite insane. But actually, the simpler model will be better at the, the very beginning. But uh, as soon as there there's a, a lot of different situations that are met, uh, you have more trouble generalizing, and the, the, the bigger model uh, should win. So I think that's what we, is the same situation in, in here. And uh, actually, I should have done... Uh, Wait a bit more and do more tests, but I don't have time uh, right now to do it. So if I if I, I'm gonna do more tests and I'm gonna make another video for it for uh, give more details on it. So about the memory usage of uh, the Impala CNN model for 20 environments, uh, you can see that it uses uh, quite a lot of the memory uh, more than the the CNN model. So it's over uh, 5 gigabyte of memory. So that's quite a lot. That's why on the laptop GPU, it might be hard to to run it. So we can try with just one environment uh, to see how, how, uh, how high the, the memory goes. So it seems for one environment, it you could run under on a two gigabyte GPU. Uh, even with two environments, I guess you it could work. Uh, but that's that's much lower. So it's still possible, but it's uh, the 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 training FPS like you see is like a hundred and and twenty under one hundred twenty. Uh, it's quite low. So it might work for simple games, but for games like Mario, we're going to wait forever. Um, so that's it. Uh, so despite taking more compute resource and memory, I think the Impala model is worth trying. So in my case, this uh, uh, from this point, I will use the, the model for my basic tests on retro games. It clearly performs better for some cases. Like I said, I, it would have been much better if I... If I did the longer tests, but I, I like the time, I will do that for another video. But for for simple games and uh, when you have a limited compute resource uh, and time, I think it's it still performs better as you can see, like uh, especially on uh, on Pong and uh, Mortal Kombat 2. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestion on what you want me to cover for topics, uh, please don't hesitate to write in the comment section section down below. And uh, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. Thank you.